guys welcome or welcome back to my channel everything good about life in case you're new here my name is Lydia so now guys today we are doing a DIY <laughs> and I'm DIYing my baby's bed a baby coat so here's what happened i had planned that i'm going to share my bed with my son for like at least three months before i move him to a baby coat but i'm just i'm like i need my bed back so i've decided to diy now uh you see this is not a real pillow i had diy'd it from my first mattress whoa that was when 2014 or something like that <laughs> I think I bought this mattress in 2014 and then I was done with it so I do I DIY'd it into a pillow you see it's just a mattress yeah and it actually looks good you cannot differentiate it from a pillow right <laughs> so since I don't have like I did not buy a baby mattress I, I did not buy anything by the way because I had planned to buy when he was three months so I don't have anything now I went and bought a bed at 3,000 shillings it's actually it's it's not brand new as you can see but it looks okay it actually looks okay so we are going to go with that but we are not buying any mattress right now because guys we are on budget <laughs> so i have to do this uh, until i get some money to buy him a mattress that's when we are going to replace but now i'm not going to buy a new bed this is what i'm going to use and probably later on instead of buying a bed i'll just like either spray paint it or i'm going to buy a varnish and make it look decent but for now we have to go with this so Let's do this, guys. I did a number on this mattress because it's too tiny guys it's too tiny but uh, a good thing is that I have a baby comforter yeah and I also have a lot of blankets so the baby will not be uncomfortable uh, another thing is the mattress is a, it's wider wider and smaller <laughs> smaller so instead of cutting it into pieces and reshaping it I'll just like fold it and try to fit it in because when I buy the mattress I tend to return my pillow my beautiful pillow as you have all seen back so yeah let's do this guys this mattress is too old i don't know if you can see the stuff it's producing like the, the mattress is kind of disintegrating i think oh i feel so good 
I was going to get uh, an old sheet and just sew it into place firmly, kind of like I did with this one. With the way I did with this one, so that it stops that from flying all over the place. But since we <laughs> we have already decided that when I buy the mattress, I'm going to replace my pillow back. I've decided I use the the sheet, the old sheet when i'm returning the mattress back into the pillow guys more like ulimi mekata i literally cannot find words to describe whatever i'm doing so we'll just have to flow silently now i'm going to use this instead and i'm not going to sew it because this is a very beautiful sheet and i'm kind of still using it so i'm not going to damage it for anything Look at these guys. <laughs> I'm so excited about this one. It, my mother-in-law thrifted this one for me. And I can't wait for a real mattress so that I can try it on. <laughs> yeah, the only reason it's here is because I couldn't wait to show you guys. Imagine it's a thrift and it's such a good quality. Anyway, back to business. So I have two comforters, this one and this one. Yeah, this is a little smaller because it's a comforter for the chair. And I think I'm going to use both of them because I feel like this mattress is too tiny, like even for a baby. So I'm going to use both the comforters. Which side is prettier guys? I can't decide this side or this side. Look at the foot. beautiful i feel sad to add anything on it <laughs> anyway so i've i've seen that it's going to be a little bit cumbersome if i add this one but i've also checked i can rarely i cannot feel the the board so it's comfortable and that's why we like comforters because they're comfortable <laughs> i think i'm going to leave this one aside and just use it for the chair yay <laughs> now don't stone me guys these are simply for decorative purposes my baby cannot be using pillows at this age. I don't even know why they are selling pillows for babies. Unless nowadays babies are allowed to use pillows, you tell me. But my son will not use any pillows. There we go. My baby's bed is made. Yay! So my baby's bed is ready, guys. Uh, I'm so excited. I would have shown you where it's going, but obviously it's going into our master bedroom, so it's a no-go zone. Um, but when I buy the mattress, I'm going to be shifting him to the other room. He'll be old enough. And then I can show you how it actually looks. I would also have probably spray-painted it already. And it will be even more magnificent. So tell me how you think it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> and tell me if you would do this. If you would 
DIY your, your baby's bed. I feel like I shouldn't be doing this to him, but I really need my bed back. I do need my bed back, guys. Uh, yeah, hopefully you have enjoyed this video. See you in my next video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and tell a friend to tell a friend. In short, share. This has been everything good about life. See you in my next video. Bye.